Hello guys, um, hello? Can you see me? Can't see me? Okay, hang on a moment. There. Sorry, jumping back and forth in time, confusing the channel, so... Got stuck in mid-warp and it's confusing. Okay, so last week I posted a video where I reviewed a humongous set of my VHS collection of Doctor Who. And uh, now I'm going to be reviewing the second ginormous set that I got. I actually filmed me unboxing that. Well, not opening up the box, but taking the VHS of that one by one. But anyway, okay. Back to something, something early 2013. I don't even know. Okay. Going in three, two, one. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is. I just got a. I just got a box, new box with all the new VHSs of Doctor Who. So I decided that I'd show you them all as I took them all out. So this one I specifically wanted in the box. It's the Tenth Planet which has a recon of episode 4 I believe and it's the first Doctor's regeneration story so yeah okay this is the William Hartnell pile got the ambassadors of dust which has two tapes in it don't know why there's two tapes in it but that's John Pertwee which will be over here Battlefield, which is Sylvester McCoy. Third Sylvester McCoy. We've we'll got two more up on the shelf there. Sorry if you can't see very well. Arc of Infinity, which is Peter Davison. Maybe I'll make a little bit of a circle. One, three, five, seven. Age of Destruction and the pilot episode, which has two tapes. One will be the Age of Destruction and the pilot episode, and one will be the Missing News. I already have that VHS. But, um, well, the thought that counts, and, uh, it's not even opened yet. So, it goes in here. That's it for that one. We've got Revenge of the Cybermen. Which is Tom Baker. I think it's one of the first VHSs ever. It goes in the middle here. An Unearthly Child, which I already have on DVD, but it's great. Very first Doctor Who story ever. I didn't get to see the back of this one yet. <coughs> here. The Keys of Marinus, which I also had on DVD. It is one of my favorite William Hartnell stories. I think it's my uh, third favorite. The other two being The Chase and The Celestial Toy Maker. Two tapes in here. Okay. Got a lot of William Hartnell ones. The Trial of the Time Lord. Hmm. Didn't see all of them yet. I haven't seen any of The Trial of the Time Lord, but three tapes, so I guess one has Mysterious Planet, another one has the Mind Warp, and the last one has Terra, the Vo Voids, whatever, and the Ultimate Foe. Goes in the Colin Baker one right here. Robot, which is Tom Baker's first episode. The Monster of Peladon. I think I've heard about this one. I don't know what it is. But uh, that's John Perfect again. Have two tapes. The War Games, which is. have two tapes, and it's the Patrick Troughton three generation story. I've got William Hartnell three generation story and Patrick Troughton three generation story. So. Parts 1 and 2, episodes 1 to 10. So I guess that one has parts 1 to 5 and another one has part 6 to 10. 
Okay, so it's a 10-parter, so when I do this to DVD, I'm probably going to have, like, uh, four parts on one, because the DVD that I have, they can hold up to four parts and most of part five, but no more. So, four parts on one tape. Okay, and then three on another, and then three on another. So, that goes in a patch of trap room. And the Dominators, other than the Tomb of the Cybermen, and other than the Tomb of the Cybermen, this is the first fully surviving Patrick Troughton story, other than uh, the Enemy of the World, which was um, just discovered, but I still like to count that one of my things when I survive here. Got Planet of the Spiders, which is a uh, strange how I have the first three Doctor's Regeneration story. Okay. The time warrior. It's not just this. Oh, it's a third. Okay. Kind of looks like a Force Doctor one. Okay. Planet of the Daleks. Two tapes again. Third Doctor. And Destiny of the Daleks, which is Fourth Doctor. And The Stones of Blood, which is a very disgusting title, but I do believe that um, it's part of the Key to Time box set, if I'm mistaken, oh well. Worst Doctor. Invasion of Time. Two VHSs. Fourth Doctor again. The Invisible Enemy. Never heard of this one. Uh, but it's Fourth Doctor again. Maybe all of the other ones are going to be Fourth Doctor. The Mask of Manragora. I have never heard of this one. Fourth Doctor again. The Deadly Assassin. I think it just has the Master in it. Fourth Doctor again. Three more, which is Planet of Evil, Fourth Doctor. The Brain of Morboss Collector's Edition, Fourth Doctor. Wow, the pile's getting bit. And the Feed the Doom, which is Fourth Doctor. I've read there are Fourth Doctor. Okay, this tower's getting a little bit wobbly. Yeah, I've got one, two, three, four. William Hartnell. One, two, Patrick Troughton. One, two, three, four, five, John Pertwee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Tom Baker. One, Peter Davison. One, Colin Baker. Unless if you count the trial of the time when it was four episodes. And one, Sylvester McCoy. So I still got at least one VHS from each doctor, except for Paul McGann, of course. <sighs> okay, I am surrounded by a bunch of Doctor Who VHSs, but anyway, thanks for seeing me unbox them. I'm going to see how, my, how on earth am I going to fit them on my other shelf over there. It's too dark to see. Anyway, well... This is my new Doctor Who collection that is going to be up on my Doctor Who collection shelf in a couple of hours, maybe, it might take. Anyway, goodbye.